I uh, drilled out this yesterday. There's two batteries in there which are drilled out, and there's a diagram. I'll put a link in the description. But basically, yes, drilling out so I can put in a. That was a bit of a mess, but that one's not too bad. So uh, <clears throat> one of them is by uh, a positive because uh, there's three cells so it's the one that's nearest the positive and then the other one is the middle cell I don't know if that's necessarily the case but I just simply copied it just to make sure and uh, now I'm going to put them back in oh also uh, so nicely cleaned out of course and I've pulled out the um, uh, this is a, a, a heater a battery heater and uh, I've just basically just got over it with a towel. I don't think it needs anything more than that, just to get the, uh, just to dry it off really. You know, I thought you could be, you know, be good to have a plug on that. I might even fit one so you can remove it, and then that means you can, uh, you don't have to keep it dangling in the car because obviously there's a <coughs> strain on the wiring potential. Although it's not heavy. Yeah, it's just like a, a little electric blanket, really. Blanket element in there, which I think is automatically triggered. Yeah, so I've dried that off. I mean, I could clean it, but it's going to get dirty again, I'm sure, or damp. And so long as it's dry, I think we're okay. That's looking nice and clean now. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead with uh, stacking the batteries in. And that's next. Oh, the loom. Yeah, I've done the loom, haven't I? Yeah, okay. Yep. 